Hey everyone, this is Jack with the Cardboard Herald, and today we are going over five quick tips to get better at birds, birds, birds. Our first tip is to diversify your habitats. No, I'm not talking about just evenly putting birds into each of your habitats, which may be good in and of itself, but diversify the payouts of them. There are lots of birds in the base game as well as the expansions that will allow you to produce food from the grasslands egg habitat or in your food habitat, maybe you get to lay some eggs. Drawing cards lets you lay eggs or get food. If you find ways of diversifying the payout of a habitat, then you can more focus on that specific row in order to get better and better and meet the majority of your needs. The best engines I've seen have been the ones where one row takes care of a majority of your needs. Second, Pick your bird battles. Round one and two end goals are not that valuable. Yes, if you can score them, then that's some extra points in your pocket. But don't divert your entire focus based off of meeting those goals when instead you could be investing in an engine that's going to pay out a lot more and prepare you for the later round goals, which are of more value. If you can start sculpting in order to guarantee that you have round three or four covered at the beginning, beginning of round one, then you'll have a lot more focus on your opponents who are distracted with making sure that they have the most eggs in a certain habitat during round one. Third, powers are sexy. Brown powers are sexy. They are wonderful, but don't just get distracted by them. Think in terms of points, especially during rounds three and four. There are a lot of birds that don't have immediate powers or as flashy of powers, but are worth a huge amount of points. A zero point bird who has a cool power is not going to be nearly as useful with only six or seven actions left as compared to a bird who gives you nine points and maybe even a pretty okay power on top of that. Fourth, we're talking about round four because round four, you only have five actions available to you. You should start every round four that you play with a specific objective in mind because you're only going to have a very few amount of actions in order to take care of that. Whether that's playing a bird from your hand, playing a couple birds from your hand, filling out things for the end round goal, or trying to get your personal objectives taken care of, maybe it's just getting a bunch of eggs out there, but you should have all five of your actions work in concert towards that goal that's going to net you the most points. In our Fifth and final tip is something that I see people miss all the time in Wingspan is do not discount the ability to use two foods as a wild. Actions are so incredibly precious in Wingspan and people will spend action after action trying to get the right food for their birds. If you can capitalize on a big cache of food right now in order to use freely as wilds for birds that'll make all of your actions that much more efficient, then use the extra food. It is more worth it than you think. I'm not saying to just throw away your food if you have the ability to get the right food for the right birds or the right birds for the food that you have then absolutely do that. But in the place of taking several actions in order to make things work the right way, do not lose sight of the ability to use two food as one wild. That is huge. Those are our five quick tips that anyone can apply in order to up their wingspan game. If you used any of these, let us know how it worked out for you. And if you are a bird expert, then I want to hear all about your own tips in order to get people doing the bird flocking business all that much better. And if you want to see more of these videos, then let us know what game you want to see them for. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Jack for the Cardboard Herald. If you enjoyed this video, we have all kinds of other reviews, interviews, and recommendations via right podcast and video here on our channel and website cardboardherald.com. Our content is audience supported, so if you want to show your support, please visit our Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the Cardboard Herald.